Hi everyone and welcome to Almost Cancelled. I'm Pure and this is Connor. Hey guys. We're going to talk about DC's Legends of Tomorrow, Season 1, Episode 12. It's called Lash Refuge and full spoilers for the episode as always on this show. Bleh. Pretty much. This this show is officially in the this is bad, I do not look forward to it every week now category. Yeah. And what's annoying about that is it had so much promise. Even like the idea of this episode should be good. Yeah, it could have been. Should like, have, it should have at least been a two part as well. Yeah. At least. I I was just not feeling this one at all. I and there were several moments where I, I was groaning and I was letting out well first of all, let, let's start with let's start with science. Because science is always hmm. a fun thing to talk about in uh, time travel shows. Now, I'm not saying... Obviously, there's no there's no set rules. Different you know, movies and TV shows have their own rules. But this doesn't travel. stick with its own rules. No, it doesn't stick with its own rules. It doesn't stick with the Flash's rules. And it's meant to be the same universe. Right? So that, first and foremost... I mean, it, just before even uh, like last week, it completely broke its own rules. Like, that, that this show had that... You know, like time can you can change things, but then it'll cement change. Hmm. Whereas last week, he gave the kid the the medicine, and that ensured that he did grow up because he already grew up for him essentially, as H. G. Wells. So in his time, he'd actually must have already saved him at some point. Yes. <laughs> it, it, but it, uh, there's just so like so much of this just feels pulled out their ass. Every time something comes up. Yeah, it's feels like, like well, what do we need it to be this week? Yeah, it feels like there's a new rule every single week. And every single thing they said this week about uh, the, the woman killing them in the, pa the past as kids and them immediately vanishing and that's it. I'm like, well, no, that's completely the opposite of what's been happening on Flash. We still have time remnants and that's apparently not a thing in this show. So it's just really inconsistent with its own university's rules. So right away, it was throwing me off the loop. And then, also, I'm getting really sick of, uh, oh, Gideon tells us a 96% chance she's at this exact time, in this exact place in history. I'm getting to the Just point once, I'd like that 4% to be wrong. Then turn up and go, well, shit, Gideon fucked up. But I, I don't even... I mean, all, it's, it's all gobbledygook anyway, just so they, they know how to go there, but it feels like they just rely on it so much. It feels like such a cheap writer's crutch. It definitely is. It's just poorly put together. We also had lots of relationship bullshit this episode with uh, Ray and Kendra. Thing is, I still think Ray is one of my favourite parts individually of the show. Yeah, he's fine occasionally, but I mean, he's not done anything of late in weeks. I don't know, I, I sometimes smile. You know, like when he goes... He did in this episode is one example where at the start he's like, come with me if you want to live. He's like, oh, I always wanted to say that. Yeah, it's fine, but it's a throwaway line. Like, everything with him and Kendra this episode... Oh, yeah, just, that stuff's bollocks. It was mind-numbing. Mind-numbingly bad. Every single part of it was just for forced drama. Even the scene at the start when it's her and Sarah and they're talking about it. And Sarah basically just does a complete 180 in what she said last week because... She's like, oh, so you're still with uh, Ray? She's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And she's like, oh, so you didn't take the advice of... Uh, of yourself. Of yourself. She's like, no, I took your advice from last week. Uh, well, don't, don't take my advice. <laughs> yeah, don't take my advice. Oh, what? <laughs> what? And then it just keeps going, oh. and he almost dies. And by the way, one of the biggest moments of stupidity in this episode is when he's on the medical bay and he's getting new injuries, Kendra yells out, What's doing this? <laughs> What's doing this? What do you fucking think, you silly bitch? The entire plot of this episode is about a woman going back in time and trying to murder all you people as kids. <laughs> what do you think is causing the new injuries? I, th I think my favourite part was when Ray says, um, you know when things get crazy, I, I like to think about that time we had, a that, that, that two years we were together. It's like, hang on, that was only like two weeks ago. There's not been that much crazy since then. You've not done that much. 
then stupid proposal, and then immediately, oh, I don't know if I said the right thing, I don't know if I actually want to marry him. Blah, it it blah, was blah, like blah. accidental proposal almost. And then cliched, he overhears it, and then, oh no, wait, I actually do want to be with you, let's get married, Ray. I'm like, oh my god, all of this is just TV romance bullshit, none of it's earned, I don't buy these two as a couple, none of this has been built to, it's just forced TV hack rating. That's all this you know is. What? You know, uh, when, when they had the two years and I said, oh, maybe this is good because now we can just get into them being a couple and forget about that stuff, thinking it would be a good thing that we'd avoided all the, oh, should we get together, should we not? No, because I still yeah, say I, that every... I, I, I take that back. Was, was, what was the fucking point? I still say that every single time. Every single episode it's about, oh, should we be together or shouldn't we? How about you spend an episode just being together and not talking about it? Just a thought. Maybe we should have seen some of that two years. Other moment of complete stupidity and contradictory nonsense. So they've already got a couple of the younger versions, and we'll get to those scenes in a minute, but they've got a couple of the other younger versions, and Rip tells the team, right, no one can go on their own young person's rescue because we're just in case of paradoxes. <laughs> yeah. The previous scene was Sarah going to rescue herself and she even has a full on fight scene in front of her. And she's not even like that young Sarah. No, she's like was it ten years she's, after she's that? That, it was two thousand seven. Yeah, so nine years ago. Yeah. So, so it was she's... like the year before the boat trip. Yeah, that sounds about right actually. Yeah, because that was maybe five years before the show started, so Yeah. Yeah. So, oh my god, and then, don't even get me started on how awful young Rory was. Oh Jesus, he was atrocious. I don't know, I think taking the cake for worst though is, is young Rip. Oh, his accent. <laughs> it's like he's come out of Oliver Twist. <laughs> oh, wrap me old mucker, I'm from London. <laughs> my name's Rip Hunter. Oh, it was fucking atrocious. <laughs> <sighs> I'm going to stab you in the art, missus. Worst thing is, that's probably just about as good an accent as the one they actually had on the show. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, God, it was bad. It was yeah. just breaking its own rules. And then any potential drama we could have had... Like, the idea of Rory trying to, like, talk to his younger self and making him a better person. The idea of Jax seeing his father that he never met. These could be good moments, but they're just shoehorned in really quickly. This episode goes at such a breakneck speed. And most of it's filled with just this CW drama bullshit that makes no sense. And it's convoluted as hell. I mean, I don't think any scene wraps up the convolution of this any more than when Quentin's actually on the ship. And he's like, oh, what's next, Martians? <laughs> Oh, amnesia pill? Yeah, all right. Oh, that explains why he didn't remember any of this. It's very Doctor Who, right, Con? Oh, no. bollocks! It, it, it was a bit. <laughs> what I don't understand is is why did the time lady person go to when they were like adults? Like Ray had his fucking suit there when she went to get him. Like he was, he literally had it. In building, he was building it, and it still worked. And that's how she got. That's how they saved Ray with with his yeah. atom suit. It's like, why didn't you just go to a time that was early? Like, why don't you just go to all of them as babies and go, fuck you? Well, you know dead, what? You dead, know what? Dead. I could I could even buy it. I could even buy that. Oh, it's because she knows they're going to try and stop her, so she's going to pick random points in their past rather than the obvious ones, right? So I could buy that to a point. The problem is, though, is in the second half of the episode, as soon as our team decides to go back and get them all as babies, that's when she immediately decides to go back and get them all as babies. Yeah, it makes no sense. There is no fucking logic to anything in this episode. What about time reversal? <sighs> go on. I don't know. I just thought it looked cheesy as fuck. Her freezing and sending it back and just I don't know I sort of like the one shot where they were all frozen and the camera was kind of moving about it went on a bit too long but yeah it was a cool enough moment yeah but all the other times that she was using it it kind of just looked really cheesy the, the only time 
Honestly, the most enjoyable part of this episode for me was when I chuckled, was when Rip said that if they all go back and get them as babies, eventually everyone who ever knew them wouldn't know any, like, ever, never have known them. And he goes through them all and he's like, what, my mum won't know me? And then uh, Stein's like, oh, my wife won't know me. And it goes to Rory and he's like, yeah, and my... Oh, wait, I don't have anyone, never mind. Like, I chuckled. That was a kind of funny line, but... Yeah. I think uh, Stein was really weird as well for me in this episode. He complains to Rip going, I thought you were going to drop us back where you took us, so I didn't say goodbye. It's like, well, what if you died? Why wouldn't you have said goodbye and let your wife know that, oh, shit, I might be dead? Betty feels really shit about kidnapping uh, Jax now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking knob. Uh, yeah, it's, this was not good. and This this show's not been good for a while. No. It has the occasional episodes where it's like, this is pretty good. No, I wouldn't even say that. I think you're overselling it. I think episodes one and two were good. Then there was a couple of not so terrible ones. Then there was one more or two decent ones, and then ever since then it's been crap. I think maybe after the pilot, maybe two or three have been good. I'd have to look at them again. The last one I enjoyed at any length was the Space Pirate one, and that was... That was like eight. Yeah, that was episode seven or eight, yeah. That was a while ago. What came? I can't remember what came after the Space Pirates one, which probably tells you I didn't actually enjoy them that much, to be honest. It's been... This is a show that had potential, had some cool ideas and characters they could have elevated, and it's just bogged down in really shitty writing. Fucking Googie. Uncle Googie. At it again. He's done it, he's done it again, hasn't he? Uh, I don't Just know, when... <laughs> not that he necessarily wrote this episode, I don't think he did, but it wouldn't shock me if he did, though. <laughs> wouldn't shock me either. The problem is, remember back in the pilot where we were like, this could be better than The Flash? Yeah, we actually said that. I said this could be better than the Flash because this was fun. It the direction felt really strong, but whoever directed those episodes kind of left. And I think it actually did come back for one episode, but honestly, it didn't elevate it. <laughs> whatever one it came back for. Nah, uh, the script was decent in that one. It was a lot of fun. They put like the the whole Sarah and Snart thing was good. Yeah. What? Well, yeah. What happened to Sarah actually having a character and being kind of witty? What happened to the cool, like, the, the, the tints when they went to the different time zones? You know, just from a, a technical perspective, you know, when they went to the 70s? Yeah, yeah, I remember, I remember. It's just like, never again. <sighs> All right. so disappointing. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm actively in the Legends of Tomorrow is pretty shit camp now. Um, so, yeah, that's this week's Legends of Tomorrow. Let us know what you thought of it down in the comments below and like and subscribe and all that jazz helps us out a lot. If you're still watching this, if you're enjoying it, let us know why. Why are you enjoying it? I'd love to be able to understand. I think you're going to have to start drinking for uh, Legends as well now. Uh, I can't drink two nights in a row every week. <laughs> <laughs> Not uh, that heavily. I don't know. I don't know. You might need it after <laughs> if this keeps going the way it's going. I think with Legends, there's still like, the little bit of hope that I can get back to a good episode. Arrow, I'm resigned to my fate. Oof, I don't know. I'm... I... They'd have to change half the writing stuff, I think, for next season to give me any hope. Mm. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.